I am Isis, knowing who you are. It is taking time now to calm and steady your frayed nerves it is only to be had by coming to be in the stillness. After you have calmed your mind in any form of meditation, it can be walking with your eyes open or of course closed and in relaxation. The riches and healing to be discovered are here something that all material wealth in the world can never buy. The ego thrives on instability. It wants to be in control and will use chaos as a reason to assert authority over you. Shifting through one level of consciousness to another often includes periods of chaos and instability as old structures fall away. This is where you need to take the master's control. Fear is a veil of separation supported by the belief you are at risk. Knowing who you are as a spiritual being dissolves fear and opens the blessing of gratitude. Humans are looking everywhere and they go places to find solitude and to find that something they yearn for never realizing that solitude and to find something they yearn for, I repeated that, especially because never realizing that they only are running away from themselves and yet they bring themselves along wherever they go and still end up dissatisfied and hungry so they start feeding their material bodies in the hope that this longing will go away. If only they would sit still for long enough to search and find that calm center within their selves. Where I am, there are the invisible onlooker, an object of their soul search, hoping they remember my words that I am at your service always. So when a soul finally connects up with me or the many in the higher realms waiting to be of guidance, a silent joy is born and an unknown calm begins to pervade that soul which starts to grow because of the love and the nourishment it has found. Each thinking mortal has this urge and need to make this God connection within, for this is the great gift and purpose of life, which the Creator has endowed his mortal children with, so they can become immortal and perfect like he is. The big question is, when will humanity wake up and know that the life-saving gospel, that a fragrant, a fragment of his self-same eternal spirit God lives within their own hearts. And when they do realize this, will they then set about with diligence and determination to keep that priceless connection open and active? Setting some time apart to go within and listen to that still 
small voice is the only cost for we are drawing closer and closer to the earth plane right now and we are becoming the new earth plane and we are becoming more and more part of you than we were before wanting to use you as a divine instrument to portray to you that which we can see with our vision why should you not partake in seeing the beauty that we see so think about what you can do in the coming months and how you can allow the angelics to work with you and through you to allow this creativity to come to the fore so many messages need to be given so much information is needed to be transported to the earth and to be taken to so many people to hear but unless you let go and allow spirit to speak through you those words will never be said now is the time for you all to discover your hidden talents your creative skills for you are coming into the sphere of a beautiful golden orange light which is encircling your earth plane and this is the color of creativity it's a golden orange this color is being shone upon your earth plane at this time with this merging oneness is finally here and within and the god goddess is you how beautiful and radiant you feel and so ready to ascend to the new earth where I, Isis, will still be at your service. I am so full of love and joy to bring you this message today. Namaste, and I thank you, Rosalie, for being here today as well. Namaste.